Mary Ann's having a very good day today. You saw, you ran, you lived. I have spent my whole life looking beyond the edges of our reality. Even as a child, <laughs> I saw things that would break a grown man. Eventually, I grew into it. It became my normal. But that thing, it was Who are you talking to, lady? Normal. I've never encountered anything like this. This ravenous. I felt lost. I came to Neva looking for answers, and all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? And what did he want from me? I mean, I'm still there. Which is... She was talking as if, like, after this, she fucking left. Marianne. That was my controller. It's like cigarette butts all over the place. Gross. I woke up with icy water in my veins. I wanted nothing but to get out of there. To just get up and run until my legs give out, until my lungs collapse. But I knew I couldn't. It wouldn't have solved anything. And besides, sadness needed my help. Does she, though? Does she really? Is someone there? Mary and Happy. You're okay. Sadness? Is that you? Are you okay? What was that thing? Hello? Fine. Richard. Richard? No, Sadness. The man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? He's on the day room. Day room? Day room. Ah. <laughs> Are you trying to show me the way? At least I have a light. Doesn't do much for me though. Honestly, it's not so dark that I can't really see. It would be nice if I could get past here though. Alas. I got nothing. Yeah. Oh. Thanks, sadness. I keep seeing it in my dreams. The other place. Dust and death. As far as the eye can see. A feeling of nothingness tearing at my soul. I wake up choking. Feeling the dust burning through my lungs. I beg for it to stop. He says there's no help yet. Then again, he would say that, wouldn't he? Family time, holiday in the country. Bonk. <laughs> Creepy. 
creepy. <sighs> All right. What now? Good question. Um. Well, that's where I came in, I think. So now I probably have to go this way. Oh, but... I was just here! Why couldn't you have opened the door then? First Thomas, then Richard. Before I knew it, I was looking for a bunch of strangers. At least sadness was still with me. In a way. Down we go, I guess. <clears throat> Is that? Oh god, it's everywhere. That looks fresh. Like, that's fresh blood. That's not old blood. Old blood is like brownish and sometimes I've seen it look kind of blackish depending on like if it's been treated with any chemicals. But like, that's, that's fresh blood or it's paint. That's to hop down. That's also to hop down, probably. I don't want to. It's that. The nurse. She did it. She killed them all was like something possessed her. Is that really what you want us to put on record? It's what I saw. The nurse. I... How? Why? Possessed by the Mothman. I'll look at that in a minute. I want to want to see what's okay. Okay. we're supposed to go apparently I don't know why the only thing I can think of is there'll be a point where I need to hide here or something <sighs> the thing is like I don't want to end up at the point of no return without realizing it it's like I don't know what'll end up being what progresses the plot as it were let me be frank this case is problematic just a bit my superiors want it to go away I want it to go away you can see how your statement complicates that comrade I yes I understand some things don't just go away. They stick. They echo.
Why am I looking? The only I know is that's the deep end of the pool and it's looking uh, real good. But otherwise, I don't really see a point. Cover your nose. Try not to look at him. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Ugh. Definitely didn't need to feel that. Feel what? Like, nausea or something? Like, I don't know. They don't really tell us what she's feeling. It's weird, like, it doesn't seem like it's been cleaned up at all. <clears throat> but people have definitely been into, like, graffiti and shit, you know, irreverent teenagers. I don't know, I feel like more would have been done to this place after the massacre. My dears, I wish this was it, the moment I pluck up the courage and actually send this one. Seems so easy, just throw it in the mailbox, and why can't I? Someday, I promise, I love you with all my heart, F. I wonder if this is Francis in the in the memories. Yeah, I was thinking like the fact that all of these are here and not somewhere else kind of means he never sent them. <clears throat> Francis, what am I supposed to do with you? Once Neva shut down, you begged me to keep you on, said you needed time to sort things out, said you could be useful. But now I know you're just using me as an excuse. Like those letters you keep writing. I know you never sent a single goddamn one. Family's doing good, Mr. Rakovitz. I'll probably go home this next spring, summer at the latest. Who are you kidding, Frank? Hell, as long as you're here, I can at least keep an eye on you. Make sure you don't get hammered and passed out in a snowdrift. Guess is the least I can do. Good old Frank. Yeah, so the F is is Francis. Mm. They have a flashlight, right? It's fine. He doesn't light the light. Kind of odd for a Mothman. Oh, I remember. This is, uh... Locked. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Actually, no, that wouldn't make sense for it to be where I thought it was. Never mind. Oh, hello. To the mirror. Hey, Marianne. You look like shit. You actually look pretty good for a horror pro tag, although I guess that won't last long. Are those bolt cutters? Might be useful. If only I could reach them. my seven years bad luck. There's this way?
so bright. Hey, wait up. Come on, Slowpoke. I've got an idea. We're gonna show that weirdo. What, what are you gonna do? Hmm. There were some kids here. There's always kids around. Never get rid of the infestation of children. Alright, well, I guess there's nothing else I can do right now, so... Hello? Anyone? It's looking even bloodier here. Oh, wait a minute. I'm back to where I started. Ready or not, here I come. It's actually kind of a cute toy. Oops. Bonk. Oh, here's something. about her like that. Shut up, Bernard. Come on, hurry. Shh. Ah, uh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> I always love when I solve a problem I don't even know exists yet. Should. Shut the heck up, Bernard! Guys! Oh. Kids can be such assholes sometimes. Yep. What the hell? It looked back at me. Snowdrop, huh? It's a kitty! Why does that sound familiar? Maybe you're Lily. Maybe that was your original name, not Marianne. As I got closer to the mirror, I felt a slight tug in my pocket. I could tell there was more to that figurine than just carved wood. I'm hearing creepy noises. I, I do not like them. Feel it calling out to me. Bitch, don't do it. I said don't do it, not do it. Like, you did the literal opposite of what I wanted you to do. Because now I'm going to have to deal with Mothman again. It was the first time that it ever happened. Not a first time for you today, huh? I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. What the hell is this place? Will I be able to cross back? I want to. I... Oh shit! The cat! It stayed on the other side. I'm stuck here. Good job, you fucking idiot.
Sounds like this place is hell. What's happening? No! No, please, mommy! Huh? Oh god. What happened to you? Wait, I know you. You were that boy. Bernard, was it? He was trapped there, just like I was. I knew his name, but somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. Follow the spirit trail, I mean... There's really only one place left to go. All these people, they weren't just killed. Their spirits were ripped apart, broken beyond repair. Maybe I can find the one Bernard is missing. I need to look around. The spirit well. I could use some of that energy. Look, it's IRL me. That cat figurine was the key. I can't pass through without it. Probably need to go in there, but... Hey, that's where those bolt cutters are. So close, and yet so in a different reality. So close, and yet so in a different reality. Okay. Oh god, this is so gross. Every time. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Isn't it, Bernard? It's about time you got it back. Oh, they just permanently burned? That's nice. Uh. I'm sorry you had to go through all this. It's time for you to find peace. Bernard. Thank you. Figurine. Kinda looks like the one I used to get through the mirror. Feels like it too. What's it called? Killy. Yeah, with the the screaming, it really do be sounding like hell, huh? He screams. No. <laughs> That's the thing. He's just lonely. He just wants someone to stay with him. <laughs> 